This is Hunting for Purple Streetlights in Kansas City. Video 210, Exhibit C, as in California. We have two golder lights there. Maybe copperish kind of color, copper color lights. And we have this lighter color light. These tend to become purple right here, if they're the color on the right sometimes. If they have the organization of um, 10 LEDs per sub panel, those are the ones that I keep seeing that are defective. However, most of them are not though. Most of them are not purple, at least. They're not turning purple. Whether that's because they're just really new, because they've only been here since May, I don't know yet. But for some reason, some of them are purpler than others, and they keep, they keep putting those where they keep putting them. Like they already knew that which ones were. It's really not that many compared to the other ones. Guess we'll have to see what happens, guys. Do they all, do we get a bunch of purple ones or what? But last time I looked at this without recording it, because I wasn't running another video at my car, I just stopped it. It's kind of hot. And I didn't see it. Okay, it's still not that way. This is October 18th. I'm gonna guess that's probably got 15 LEDs per segment, if we can even see it. Yeah, you can see in the glare. They're different LEDs. And most of them are not turning purple. <clears throat> At least not right now. <clears throat> Remember, they had a bunch of them, guys, that were purple in Kansas City. I saw them on I-49 before when I drove through about 13 months ago. Around September 15th of 2022. And they had them at, like, the loops, like, at the freaking um, junctions not typically off of the junctions. <clears throat> For wind, that also doesn't not make sense because still, that's a freaking huge barrier. Nobody gets over here, no one goes south in this. Okay. And any parallel routes, who knows how far that would go with that many dang lights that, like they had before. There was like, I don't know, Something akin to what was at the progressive rail. I don't know if it'd be half as much or about the same at every, like almost every junction guys on I-49. So yeah, I don't think that they didn't have it handled even just from looking at that, but I didn't look through the neighborhoods like I am now. All right, so right now we're at this point in the video. By the way, I didn't tell you where I was. That This is Cass Parkway. So on the map, let's see. But it's not like they already don't know which manufacturer would be that way or which one would have the defective LEDs. No, guys, they did this shit on purpose. They even, I don't know, I can't say for sure because I didn't drive down every neighborhood, but I'll bet they biased it towards being at the junctions. I can't prove that right now, but because <clears throat> I didn't actually see it on the other roads because I drove through. <clears throat> back in September, like 15th or 16th of 2022. 
when I drove through down to Joplin. All right, so this is the next one. We just looked at this one over here. There are three of them there. Two of them are copper on the left. One of them is that one there. Now we're gonna go over to the one that I already know is purple, turning purple, and we're gonna see what it looks like right now <clears throat> at this stage. Um, I'm not even gonna stop this video. We'll just keep going. For you guys, um, we're gonna go over to that point. We just looked at this one. There's no indication of purple, just like there wasn't when I looked at it, but I didn't record it because I was parked over here. I stopped it because I was concerned about my engine. All right, here we go. I did not actually, I have not seen the, the purple street light since then. Since, I mean, since when I, video 177. So, here we go. <clears throat> Actually, I'm kind of curious about this, but we're also going to look at this one here because I don't know. That one actually might be eligible. It might be the, the same kind that we keep seeing purple. So, I'm also going to look at that one too. I don't think, I think it's a waste of time to, to zoom in on each of the freaking gold looking ones simply because it costs battery life and it costs time and I want to get multiple data points for these other ones. So, all right, I'm going to stop right here. And we're gonna go get that. <clears throat> this is like a follow up to. Oh, here. here let's just make sure we can be seen on the camera here. Okay. This is a follow up to um, video 177 exhibit D as in Denver. something on my hand. Crap, did that help? Make it worse. <laughs> Darn it, guys. I'm not going to smear the camera. So I don't know if that's one or not, but that one definitely is. And it's gotten purpler and purpler. Hmm. I don't see like the evenness or oddness, honestly. So, typically it alternates, like it would just keep going even or, or odd within the individual segments of 10 such that the rows are kind of staggered from each other because it's an odd number in each row. But I don't see that here at least. Okay, but that's what this one looks like. And we can compare it to the other one or you can compare or contrast it with the other one. None of the LEDs that are white on what we just looked at should, have, should be blue on a previous one because remember it's damage to the phosphor coating. If you see that, then you know something's wrong. Like they changed the freaking light. So this also helps prove whether they changed the light or not, guys, for another one. 
for example, if they really wanted a purple street light, would they replace it with another purple one? And like what we saw with that peculiar way over there, that purple street light moved. It moved over a pole, guys. Or they put another one there. I never looked at the pattern though before, so I didn't nail down a pattern like I have on this one. That's why it's good to get the pattern because you know if they replaced it with another one or if they just moved the dang thing. It's a good thing to know. You give them fewer degrees of freedom, guys, for what they would want to do. To have excuses. They don't like that, and that's why they don't want you collecting data. And that's absolutely why they censor and they want a narrative that gives them the freedom that they want. They want to have different excuses for stuff. Well, guys, they don't have excuses really anymore from what I've already done here. You're having fewer and fewer of them. And they set it up on purpose and they lied to you guys about it being accidental and just a factory defect. That's why I do this and that's why you should do it. If you don't do it, I'm not going to say you deserve what happens, but if you're one of those freaking social Darwinists and you don't think it matters, just wait guys. It's kind of funny. Anyway. That's where we were. And actually that's the note that I have, which means video 40, oh, I can't quite read it, let's see. Video 40, 2656 is when we first saw this light. So, all right, that's it for this one. Um, we're at an hour and three minutes and 54 seconds on that. All right, that's it for this video.